yeah, the preseason's been good. I've um, spent most of my time with the midfielders this year, um, so in the past, I've been with the forwards, and um, yeah, really enjoying that. Rubbing shoulders with guys like um, Boots, like Chewy and, and Redo, and learning a bit off them, and um, yeah, enjoying my time in there. Gold school, great front of high numbers is Allen. That's delightful, that's out of a training manual. Yeah, it came about. I played a lot of my junior footy in the midfield, um, and then spent, um, yeah, obviously, my first few years here up in the forward line. Um, I was always sort of looking to get a little little go in the, in the midfield and, and last year I was up and down a little bit um, my form in the forward line and um, yeah we decided to have a crack in the midfield and, and thankfully um, yeah it was really enjoyable and had some success in there and um, and I would have a go in there this year so looking forward to that. He's been right up there with the best players on the ground too. This guy Matt Allen has disposed of the ball well and been strong in the contest. Chuck's got a bit of a similar approach to his footy is, is what Hutch does. Yeah, sort of that, I'll do whatever it takes to play. Um, happy to play whatever role. Super driven to succeed and, and committed to, to what he's doing and a real great young guy to work with. Always always open to feedback and always asking questions and I suppose as an older player, that's um, refreshing to see. The side's ahead to Allen. Could go on the journey from 50. The left footer, all about the accuracy. And it's there. The Royals have a pulse. The most enjoyable thing working in the midfield is, is um, sort of matching up their strengths against mine and um, trying to figure out best how to figure out how to improve my strengths but also combat theirs. So um, it's a, something that's it's relatively new to me. I've been doing it against the backs for the last few years. So, so much to learn as a midfielder. So I'm still working through um, a lot of stuff and always will be. But yeah, just looking to match it with the guys um, that are in there at the moment. Well, his character speaks for itself. He's, he's one of the better blokes floating around the club. Um, He's come back in, in great condition. He's sort of, I think his rig at the moment is probably what everyone's aspiring to. Um, somehow he's, he's managed to drop some skinnies in the off season, which is, um, which is unusual. But uh, yeah, no, he, he's, going, he's going really well and um, ran a PB 2K, um, blitz that. You know, he's obviously his running ability for a big man is, is one of his major strengths. And um, also being that big bloke, he's, he's so strong over the footy. So whether that's in the air or on the ground, but um, yeah, he's, he's definitely gonna be a great player. Just wonder about his future at the West Coast Eagles. He's been on the list for a while, but he's had some injuries, to be fair. Coming to the back end of last year, knowing, oh, my future was unknown, had its distractions at times, but um, I found the best way was just to, as much as it was difficult, to try and forget about it and just enjoy my footy. And focused in, and that sort of tied in with being moved into the midfield, yeah, which, which helped me enjoy it. It was, it was a fresh, it was a, it was a change. And yeah, then uh, positivity, I suppose, had to be success with it, and it just blossomed from there. And fortunately, I was being given another year at the club, so. I'm um, yeah, looking to make the most of that and repay the coaches and obviously looking to crack in for make, make my dad look.